and welcome back to my channel. If you are here that made you guys want to see my first impressions of the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe, I really love the packaging on this. So if you guys are new to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let's go ahead and get into this first impressions, you guys. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. I'm really excited to do this video for you guys. I've literally had this for a week and I'm just now sitting down to do this. I refused to swatch this palette or anything so I can do a first impressions video for you guys. So as you can see the palette is white with the silver script and I think this is absolutely stunning. This is totally my aesthetics. Now some people don't like the packaging just because it does get dirty easier. I tend to take care of my palettes so this isn't going to be an issue for me personally. I'm kind of obsessed with this palette to be honest. And the back is just her initial all over and I really think they did an amazing job on the packaging. This is cardboard compared to the black plastic packaging that they normally have. So I like that they stepped out of the box a little bit with this palette. When you open it up it has this nice beautiful message from Jacqueline just thanking all her fans for all the amazing support and the inside is silver so it really makes the colors stand out even more which I love that idea because it just looks absolutely beautiful. Now I know there was a lot of controversy about the formula on this palette specifically. Some people think that the formula is the same as Morphe's standard formula and that is not the case. With most companies they will press their shimmers and their mattes the same so that's why some may swatch better than others but that is not the case with this palette. Jacqueline actually had each shade pressed differently, each matte pressed differently, each shimmer pressed differently so that they can all be pigmented to the fullest and give you the best results. So I'm just going to do a few swatches to see if that is true. If you guys want to see a full video swatching all the colors, I will leave a Jacqueline's video down below of her going over her palette with the shades, why she named them, everything, every single detail about this palette she talks about in that video. So I will leave that link down below for you guys to check out. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch a few shadows real quick. I'm going to go ahead and go into this beautiful crimson red, this shimmer pink here, yeah. this purple, this blue, and I'll go ahead and swatch this burnt orange color. Alright, so I'm gonna take that crimson color. Dude! I'm gonna take that shimmer pink. Do you see that? It has golden reflex. I think this is going to be like my new favorite shade. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do this shimmer purple. I'm done. These are so pigmented, you guys. All right, let's do... I know this one's called Pool Party. Oh my god. And I'm going to do this other matte shade. So these are these swatches. Oh. They are to die for. They're so gorgeous, you guys. All right, we're just going to go ahead and get into creating an eye look from this palette. So I'm just going to move my hair out of the way. And I'm going to use this as my transition shade. And I'm using the Morphe 513. And I'm going to stick this in my crease area. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Now she did make sure that these shades do work on all skin tones and that there was something in here for everyone. So she made sure that she had some cool tones and some warm tones in here for everyone. So it's not just a completely warm tone palette just because she loves warm tones. She made sure to incorporate some cool tones in here for everyone. This blends so beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, and it's just a little bit of full tone brown. I'm gonna stick this in the crease as well, and I'm gonna keep this on the outer corner. And then lightly bring it in. I'm just gonna dip into this little burnt red orange color and focus this on the outer corner area. You really do not need to dip in a lot just because they are pretty pigmented as you can tell. I'm just doing circular motions on my outer corner. And then blending that up to the brow. And I'm just dip it up with that crimson berry shade right there. And I'm just focusing this, darkening up this outer corner. And then lightly bring in that towards the inner. 
This is seriously blending so beautifully, you guys. I'm like in heaven right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this first transition shade that I used to make that more seamless. And then I'm just gonna dip into this frost shade right here and use that to highlight under my brow bone. I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC 248 brush and I'm just gonna carve out my inner corners. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this beautiful rose golden shade right here. I'm gonna take my MAC 248 brush again. I'm just gonna pop this where I put my concealer. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Morphe E17 brush and I'm gonna dip into this shade right here and just run that in my crease so that light's not so harsh. And then I'm just gonna go back to my Morphe M513 and dip back into this crimson shade and just kind of touch up the outer corners a little bit. And buff this into the crease. All right, so I just went ahead and finished my eyes and my lips off of camera. So the overall verdict of this palette is that it is extremely... The pigmentation is amazing. The blendability is amazing. Like, I'm literally blown away with this palette. It is definitely not the same Morphe eyeshadows that you guys are used to. It is completely different, and I think Jacqueline really stepped it up, and those two years that she has put into this palette specifically has really paid off. I'm really proud of her, and if you guys get this palette as well, you will definitely see the hard work that she has put into it. It's so creamy, blendable, and I'm just really blown away. I'm just at a loss of words. It's kind of <laughs> the eyeshadow that I put on the first half of the lid I didn't even use any fix plus or anything I just laid it on top of the concealer and it turned out beautiful pigmented and I'm kind of shook that for once I don't have to use fix plus to enhance my shimmer this palette is just beyond stunning they will be restocking again soon I did purchase a second one for a giveaway in honor of my birthday last week so if you guys want to see how to enter check out my last video with all the giveaway details I'm really excited for this giveaway that's gonna be awesome i know a lot of you guys are wanting this palette so entering my giveaway is one way to try to win it for free or you can wait until they restock as well that should be soon so if you guys liked this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below i do post twice a week sunday and wednesday for you guys and be sure to click that notification bell as well so you are alerted as soon as a video goes up you guys have an amazing day